from the park that everyone confuses with the much better one on the other side of the world comes the ride made famous by some pigeon who wanted to be as famous as the goose who hit Fabio and decided to nail some dude on opening day. Red Force. You heard of Millennium Force, Steel Force, Gale Force, G Force, Expedition G Force, Max Force, Magnum Force, Z Force, Force One Coaster. Okay, that one doesn't even sound real. Oh, because it's in Indonesia, that's why. Now prepare yourselves as the park uses the force on their favorite color. Is that what that's supposed to mean? A force is a type of feeling, and you can't feel red. You can only see it. So this name logically makes no sense. You've heard of Port Aventura and always wanted to go there. Now watch as you have even more reason to go there when the park makes their largest expansion ever with the addition of a brand new park, suddenly drawing in thousands of guests from around the world, most of which who don't give a crap about Ferraris. I mean, I like cars as much as the next guy, but you don't see me building an entire theme park around my Honda Civic. You love Port Aventura and all of their incredible coasters and Stampeda but just felt that they needed a really tall launch coaster since Furious Baco is like 10 feet off the ground. Now, that dream is about to come true when Port Aventura unveils the tallest and fastest coaster in all of Europe, which isn't even in the top three for tallest in America. Interestingly enough, all three of which do almost the exact same thing as Red Force, except made over a decade prior. Come on, guys, how hard would it have been to beat that record? You guys were so close, what happened? Runners, take your positions. On your mark. I'm not waiting. Adios, amigos. Get set. Hey, arms down. Go! Never gonna be known as the best! Yes! In your face, loser! Eh, doesn't matter. Everyone likes me better anyways. Ah, why do my shoulders hurt all of a sudden? Anyone else got a headache? Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! Esto es estúpido! Uh, could have been worse. It could have been a goose. Whoa, yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Whoa, wait for it. Hold up, hold up. Let's go! Come on, let's go! I feel bad for that pigeon. How do you like to be flying around one day enjoying life and then out of nowhere you get hit by a freaking roller coaster? Not even a car, a roller coaster. Get ready for the ride initially looking like King Dakar's Spanish friend, but then actually ends up being more like Spanish dragster. So are we just not gonna talk about how the original concept just casually had Zoom and Jaro built into the front? Now, meet the final product, a 367-foot-tall, 112-mile-per-hour Intamin launch coaster whose only contribution to the coaster community is the never-ending debate of, is it a giga? I don't see what the big deal is. It's between 300 and 400 feet, so it's obviously a giga. No, it has a launch. It can't be a giga. So what? Dragster and Ka have launches and they're stratas. So you're saying if a 400-foot-tall coaster was built with a lift hill, it wouldn't be a strata? No, it would be a strata. Then why can't Red Force be a giga? Because RCDB doesn't consider it a giga. Yeah, but RCDB doesn't count Fury or Leviathan as a giga, so your argument's invalid. Your mom's invalid. Your coaster count's invalid. <gasps> Good Gandhi, you guys are such nerds. Begin your journey on Red Force by waiting in a decently long line, which you could have easily avoided had you just waited till the end of the day when literally no one is in Ferrari land. But because you were excited, here you are, stuck in the middle of a cattle pen, staring at these vandalized poles, praying you'll get assigned to the front. Instead, watch as your request is denied and you're forced to sit in the middle. Eh, no big deal. Front is like any other row. You're not given any special treatment or wait, no, I stand corrected. Ladies and gentlemen, we have safety goggles. Great move, Ferrari Land. That'll protect us from the pigeons for sure. Roll out of the station and unlike its American counterparts, without warning, accelerate out of the station and down the launch track. Wait a minute. So you're telling me we don't have to keep our arms down, head back and hold on? I mean, I guess not. 
Oh, okay, that makes sense. I get it now. Wait, what happened to your hair? Oh, the launch here is actually forceful, so my hair just flew off. Well, what do you expect? It's an LSM launch instead of hydraulics, aka more gradual. Not as fast, not as forceful, and fewer chances of rollbacks. Only advantage is it sounds freaking sweet. Woo! Man, that's so cool. You know what it sounds like? You can totally tell they're mimicking. A 2011 Formula F-150 with a V8 engine? Actually, I was just gonna say Terran, but you're probably right. Shoot up at a 90 degree angle to the top of the 367 foot tall top hat, where it will feel like there's a trim preventing you from flying over at a faster speed, but no, it's actually just cause they made the top hat wider, thus eliminating any airtime you might have received otherwise. And just as you were getting ready to pop your ears, plunge down the twisted drop that is so much better than green forces and red and white forces. But of course, no one talks about that, because how dare a ride do something better than Dragster? Even though it literally does something way better than either of those approximately three seconds later when you get a surprise pop of air into the final brake run. How that tiny thing manages to be way better than a massive hill, I don't know, but I ain't complaining. And just like that, roll on back into the station where you will almost get mauled by the aggressive lap bars. The only solution is to surrender. Should you fail to do this, you will not walk out unscathed. Oh, and legend has it that Taylor's sunglasses are still being held hostage by the ride ops there. They have them in the station, but they won't give them to me. So, if you see them, try to conduct a rescue mission. Jeez, I hope they're okay. American shades trapped in a faraway land with no food or water. They're probably cold and lonely. Don't worry, sunglasses. We'll be back for you one day. And by one day, I mean when they RMC Stampeda. And so ends your journey to the top of Europe's fastest and tallest roller coaster. But wait, there's more. Can't get enough of Red Force? Get ready for the exciting sequel, coming to a five-year-old near you. It's Junior Red Force. That doesn't resemble anything like Red Force. The only thing that's a mini of is Whizzer. The real Junior Red Force is actually Stealth. Should've just built that right next to it. And while we're at it, put it in a Dragster clone and we'll call it Senior Red Force. Then you'll get all three next to each other in what is the roller coaster version of the Hershey Triple Towers. Port Aventura, you're welcome. I give you permission to do this immediately. And by immediately, I mean after you RMC Stampeda. Not even Red Force. Look at the track color. That's turquoise. Consider riding it, or just ride Top Thrill Dragster instead. Now at Cedar Point.